In today's video, we'll be exploring the upcoming 15th annual BRICS Summit, its key players, agendas, and the implications it holds for the international stage. We'll explore the aspirations of the host, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa, and the dynamics between the member states, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. So, if you're intrigued by the intricate world of international relations, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. As the host, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa prepares to welcome leaders from Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, the stakes are higher than ever. Russian President Vladimir Putin will be attending the meeting via video link owing to an ICC warrant of arrest against him. At its inception, the BRICS group held a promise of economic collaboration and influence. But over the years, it seems to have fallen short of its initial expectations. The collective of emerging economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, was poised to change the global economic landscape. However, according to analysts, the group hasn't achieved much since its inception. While the aggregate numbers are impressive, with over 40% of the world's population, over $4.4 trillion in reserves, a new development bank, and impressive GDP numbers, the underlying tensions and competing agendas within the group are hard to ignore. Two of the most significant players, China and India, share a complex relationship. Beyond their competitive stance in the developing world, the Indo-Pacific region remains a focal point of contention. As China seeks to expand the group India with its ambitions at the G7, aims to maintain a cautious approach. Meanwhile, Russia's embattled position raises concerns about its imperial ambitions in Eastern Europe and its push for de-dollarization in the global financial markets. However, the absence of President Vladimir Putin due to legal implications demonstrates the challenges Russia faces. Brazil and South Africa, on the other hand, aim to create a non-aligned lobby in world geopolitics, potentially leading to confrontations with other member states. Despite their narratives, their combined shareholding in BRICS is too small in comparison to the other three members, raising questions about their influence within the group. Energy policy also divides the BRICS nations. While India and China are favoring alternative energy, Russia and South Africa are major producers of coal and oil, highlighting conflicting interests within the group. So, what does President Cyril Ramaphosa hope to achieve through this summit? He seeks to strengthen his global standing, promote Africa's interests, and divert attention from domestic crises. With invited heads of Global South states, the summit serves as a platform to discuss the middle way between major powers and to promote a Global South movement. The response of African leaders to this invitation will shed light on various aspects. The allure of BRICS, US influence in the Global South, and the evolving roles of Russia and China in Africa. Ramaphosa's closeness to Russia, however, poses a risk to his position, especially considering Russia's interests in the continent. Russian engagement in Africa has been strategic and patient, focusing on maintaining influence through various means, including private military companies and economic partnerships. As Russia's interests shift towards Africa, Concerns about its involvement in coup activities and destabilization arise. The Wagner Group, a private military company with a formidable reputation, has been active in Africa and beyond, offering autocratic regimes security support in exchange for control over resources. As Russia's reliance on Wagner Group grows, questions about President Ramaphosa's stance on the matter arise. South Africa under Thabo Mbeki, previously worked hard to shut down its white-owned mercenary groups like executive outcomes that operated across Africa. Today, African states with fragile leadership and political instability have become targets for Russia's influence, raising alarm. Ramaphosa's reluctance to take a firm stance on the Wagner Group's activities may raise concerns. 
It also exposes the delicate balance South Africa must maintain. As we prepare for the 15th annual BRICS Summit, the interplay of ambitions, agendas, and alliances continues to shape the global stage. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll delve deeper into the ever-changing landscape of international relations. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.